Hey guys, uh, so my name is Mr. Lawrence. I was supposed to be in your class today, um, but I have a sick child at home, so I thought a um, better way to go to you guys. I just record myself on my computer screen at my house and um, give you kind of a quick overview of Wii Video um, that you'll be using today. So um, as I go through this, I'll give a couple tips, tricks, those types of things, so we make sure we're all on the same page, and uh, hopefully you kind of get you up and running with Wii Video. So the first thing is, um, on your Chromebooks, you're going to go to WeVideo.com, and uh, you're going to access the site that looks like this. Now, before you actually log in, and now I know some of you are already kind of already moving along and getting ready to click sign up, but I need you to look up here real quick. And what I need you to do is click on login. The reason for that is you guys already have accounts. So every student in class right now already has an account with WeVideo. So you don't need to click sign up. What you need to do is click login. Now when you click on login, it's going to take you to this page. On this page, you'll see a list. Um, on that list, you're going to see login with Google. Go ahead and select in that. And then it's going to ask you to log in with your Google account. Now, depending if this is your first, second, third time, or if you've never used this, it's going to ask you to verify a couple things. Basically, all it's doing is using your Google login to access um, Wii Video, so you don't have to remember another user and log username and password. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and click on Allow. And when I click on Allow, give it just a moment, and it's going to get you right back into Wii Video. So as this loads, um, over here on your top part, you're going to have home, projects, media, uh, videos. You're going to have those options. Now, what we're going to do is click on create new. When we click on create new, it's going to ask you to create a new uh, video. Now, if this is your very first time creating a video, it's going to come up and ask you to go through a little survey. Are you a student? Where are you a student? Are you in K-12, higher ed? Um, what's your experience with video editing? It's going to ask you those things. So just go ahead and answer those questions. And then also when it comes up down in the bottom right hand corner, depending on your screen, um, you may get a green like tutorial screen. Just go ahead and click the skip button. And then you're also going to have another button in the center of your page that says, um, do you want to start editing or do you want to watch a tutorial? So just go ahead and click that green button that says create a video. So when once your page loads, you're going to be brought to a screen that looks exactly, I would say, almost like mine. Now, I want to bring out a couple things. In the top left-hand corner, this is known as your bins. Now, you're going to notice my bins are going to look a little differently than yours, and we're going to move your account in just a moment to get it to look like mine. Uh, but you do have a couple things. You have a media bin. You have your graphics bin, which when you click on that, it's going to give you some options for graphics. You have music transitions, which you may or may not be seeing, and then text, the ability to create text. So these are your bins, and you're going to navigate by just clicking on the different icons. Over on the right-hand side, it says no media file selected, just letting me know it's not there. Now, on your screen, it's probably blue, and that's just letting you know you have uh, your preview window. So this is where you can hit play, pause, stop to watch your video. Down at the bottom, and this is where it looks probably slightly different. Once again, we're going to make a change here in just a moment. Uh, so what you're going to do, and this is where our timeline is. And this is where we're going to put our video clips, audio files, those types of things. So the first thing I need you to do is up in the top left-hand corner, um, there are three lines. This is known as the hamburger right underneath Wii Video. If you click on the hamburger, about two-thirds of the way down, there's going to be a button that says Timeline Mode. Right now, it's going to be grayed out for storyboard mute mode, but under timeline mode, go ahead and click on timeline mode. And as soon as you do that, your page is going to flip around. And what you're going to notice is you're going to have all these icons across your bins. And you're going to, your timeline is going to look very similar to mine, where you're seeing the different ticks down here as in 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. So... Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is some add some images. Now, before we add images, I do want to give you a quick little tip here. So I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm going to go to images.google.com. So when I get to Google Images, let's say I wanted to download a picture of, um, you know, um, a picture of the San Francisco um, Bay. So I type in my search here. And then you'll see some images that appear on here. 
So let's say, you know, I want to use a picture of the beach. So I click on here and let's say I want this image right here. Now, when you click on images, one thing you want to be aware of is this image right here. And when you click on it, this image right here is not what you want. There's a little button over here that says view image. This button that says view image, you want to make sure you click on that button. Okay. The reason for that is it's going to make sure you get the largest image size possible. So it's going to be the biggest image that you can get. So it's going to look really good on your video screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view image. It's going to be the biggest image. And then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, right click, which is alt click on your um, Chromebook. And then you're going to hit save image as. And when you do that, it's going to prompt you to save to your downloads on your Chromebook. Now, um, on your Chromebook, you have the ability to retitle your image, which is great. Um, one thing I want you to take notice is if at the very end, it may something, say something like .jpg or .png or .gif, don't delete that. You want to delete everything in front of the dot. And then if you want to just call this like San Fran Bay, you know, to name your image a little better, you can do that. But don't delete the, the three little characters um, and the dot at the end, or it could mess up um, you trying to upload your photos. I'm going to go ahead and save that. The other thing I want to bring up real quick. So these image search that's happening right now, they are not copyright free. So that means um, they may be copyrighted. So if you click on search tools under usage rights right here, there's an option, it's the very first option underneath not filtered, and that's labeled for reuse and modification. And when you click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to search for images that are not copyrighted. So these are going to be images that are free to use, um, which is great. So let's say I want this picture right here. So I click on it. Once again, click on view image. So it gives me the largest image possible. And then I'm going to right click, alt click, save image as. Once again, don't delete the uh, .jpg at the end and then let's put golden gate and uh, in my example I did just delete it so I'm going to go ahead and add that on there and hit save. So I do want to go over that real quick with you on how to download some images um, from, from Google um, but also make sure you're looking for copyright free images. Alright so let's go back to WeVideo. So there is a plus button over here. It says um, upload media. And this is a great feature on here. When I click on here, I have the option to upload photos. So I can click on browse um, and upload my own. Uh, another option you're going to have down here is this little triangle. This is your Google Drive icon, which is fantastic because if I click on it, click on this icon, it's going to take me directly to my drive so I can grab any image from my drive. Now, one thing to be aware of with your um, images so here's some um, pictures from Liberty on here. Um, so one thing to be aware of with these pictures, um, I need to um, make sure uh, they are actually images. They can't be an image in a Google Doc and they can't be an image in um, a Google Slides presentation. They have to be an image. So if you're going to use the drive icon, which is great, just make sure they're images or you won't see your files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse to Select. And I'm going to go ahead and select my two pictures. And uh, if you hold down control, you can select the various ones that you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Now, as soon as I do that, what you're going to see is you're going to see a blue line shoot across, letting you know it's uploaded. Then you're also going to see an orange button that says queued for processing. What that means is it's processing your video clip or your image so it's ready to be used. Now, depending on how many images you use and how fast the internet is at the moment, this could take a couple of seconds. When I say seconds, I mean like kind of towards a minute or two. So be patient with that. Once it's green, you're good to go. So up in the top right hand corner of that little gray box, there's a little X. Go ahead and click on the X and that image will close, that box will close. At this point in time, what you're going to notice is if you scroll down, there are my images right there. So there's image number one, and then I have some other pictures of San Francisco on here. But as I scroll down, you're going to notice all my images uploaded onto um, this site. So here are my images right here. Okay. Now, to add an image to my timeline, I'm simply going to click it and drag it down. Now, here's another tip. So once again, having you look up here on my screen, make sure you're definitely eyes on me, um, eyes on my screen. 
you're going to notice that you have a couple little timelines down here. You're going to have video one, main, audio, audio two. Now, rules are meant to be broken, but in this case, anytime you drag an image up into your timeline, you always want it in main. Now, like I said, rules are meant to be broken. I'll explain that a little bit um, with video editing. But any image that you want, you need to drag it down into the main section. All right, so I have one image in there, and I'm going to drag another image. So I'm going to click drag this image down, and I'm going to drag this image of the painted lady houses from uh, San Francisco, drag that in, and then uh, take a picture of Google um, from San Francisco. So here are my four images. Now taking a look at this, if you look at my timeline here, each of my clips are um, how many seconds long? And this would be your time to respond to me. How long are they? I'm just messing with you. I'm sorry. Um, I know I'm on a computer and probably not going to be responding to me at this moment. Um, but you can see each of my images are five seconds long. Now, if I wanted to make any of my images longer, I simply click on the image. And then if you notice on my mouse, when I get in between the clips, my mouse turns to a double, double arrow. That allows me to stretch it. So as I'm stretching, you can see now my image is 10 seconds long. But if I drag it that way, you can see my image is 2 seconds. So I'm going to drag my images to be about 10 seconds each. Now once I drag these, um, you're going to see that my video is, as soon as I get this last one, is how long? Once again, not talking to me. All right, great. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so my video is 40 seconds long. So you can see that from my timeline. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of. So on here, if you look at my playhead, that's the green little line here. It says 00, zero which is minutes, 40, which is seconds, and 00, zero which in um, video editing terms is known as, as frames. Um, kind of think of it as milliseconds. Now, depending on how close you're zoomed in, this may look stretched out. And one thing I want you to be aware of is down here in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little plus and minus. And if I drag on this, it's going to stretch them longer and stretch them shorter. And what it's doing is it's stretching my timeline. So if you take a look at this, when I stretch it, notice I'm looking at basically a second each. So 30 seconds or 10 seconds takes up a pretty good amount of time. So if I stretch it to the left, it's going to shorten it. And then I'm looking about, I'd say about uh, 10 seconds, you know, every five seconds I see a click there. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So if your screen looks a little weird or if you hit play and it goes really, really fast or it takes a really, really long time, your zoom might be, um, might need to be adjusted. Now, once you have an image in there, so say let's I grab these penguins and as I grab these penguins, I realize um, this is probably not the right video clip or image for my video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the clip, and then there's a little trash can right above it. If you don't see the trash can, it definitely always shows up under your preview window. You're simply just going to click on the trash can, and it's going to delete it from your playlist. So if you ever put something in there you don't mean to, go ahead and change it. You can also change the order by just simply clicking and dragging and moving it. So for example, if I want to start with this picture of the bay, I can click and drag and just switch those images. So at this point in time, I'd ask if there's any questions, but unfortunately, since I'm not live with you, really can't help you. Um, so we're going to move on. Um, but once again, very, very simple to get your images on there. Now, if I hit play, you're going to notice that it looks pretty much like a slideshow. So this image is going to show here for 10 seconds and it's not going to do anything exciting, which is kind of boring. And then you're going to notice after 10 seconds, it switches to a different image. So like I said, not the most exciting thing in the world. So what I'm going to do is add some animation to that picture. So to do that, you're just simply going to double click on the image. So this first image, if I double click on it, it opens and takes me into to my edit window. Now on here, you have some tools under transformation, this first icon. So I can, you know, flip it counterclockwise if I wanted to, or if I want to flip it vertically or horizontally, I can do that. Um, one of my favorite buttons on here is fit screen. The reason for that, if you notice on my image here, there's two black borders. Uh, this is a pet peeve of mine, but I don't like black borders around my images. So if you click fit the frame, it removes the black borders. 
Uh, you have a couple other options. You have the color icon, which allows you, you know, if you want to change your saturation, kind of make the blues a little bluer, bluer to make the sky look a little um, more intense for the day. You have that. You have green screen. If you're utilizing a green screen, you can do that. And then the very last option, which is the second option, is this square with two lines. This is your animation tab. If you click on animation, it's going to give you two buttons, start and end. And what it's going to do, it's going to add some animation to your picture. So if you've ever watched in social studies, there's a series called um, Civil War by Ken Burns. This was known as the Ken Burns effects, where it adds animation to your pictures. Very simple. Where do you want it to start? So here's where it's going to start, and I can zoom in. So I'm going to start at about 252. Then I'm going to click on the image and drag it to the bottom corner. Okay, so it starts there. I'm going to hit end, and I'm going to zoom in to the same spot, 252. And I'm going to go to the south side of the bay. So it's going to start here, and it's going to end here. And if I hit play, you're going to see that it does this little pan across the bay bridge. So it gives a little more excitement to your picture. There it is. So when I'm done, I hit done and it adds that animation. If I want to add another animation, just once again, double click on that picture. It should take you right back to animation. Where do I want to start? So let's say I want to zoom in really, really close and I want to be, um, let's say just, you know, kind of right here at the bridge. And I'm going to end, I'd say right about here. So if I hit play, see it's kind of doing a zoom out. So it's looking at the bridge here and then it's zooming out and looking at the bay. There it is. So I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to just take a quick second here and uh, finish up my images. So I'm going to start this one here. And then we're going to end up trying to see if this is the house for the uh, tanners. Maybe watch Full House. No, maybe. Got a new show coming to Netflix, Fuller House. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done on that one. I'm going to finish up with the last one. And let's say on this one, I want to focus on the Google icon logo up here. And then end, you know, looking at the Android while still getting the marshmallow. All right. So now if I move my playhead back to the beginning, go ahead and hit play. It's going to do its little pan and zoom. So you can see the Bay Bridge. It says there for about 10 seconds. And then the next clip jumps to the other side of the Bay Bridge where it's zooming out. And then it flips to the next image where it's zooming in on the painted ladies' homes. So you got to get the idea, but it looks a whole lot more exciting than um, just letting the picture stand there still. All right, so at this point, um, so that is animations with images. And uh, the next thing I want to show you is what is known as transition. So that takes you from one clip to another clip. So it adds a little more excitement with your clips there. So one recommendation that I always recommend is that you always start with a crossfade at the beginning and you always end with a crossfade. This just gives your video a little more professional look and uh, just kind of takes it to the next level. Now to insert fades or your transitions you literally just click the um, transition and drop it in between the clips if you notice as i'm doing that they kind of spread apart and that's how i can drop it in there now you've got standard transitions i'm a big fan of the first two the rest kind of look like you know powerpoint from the 90s um, so they have different patterns if you want to use that um, and then they have different effects these are kind of fun uh, just kind of make sure you look through them because they're not all great. But let's say I want grunge. I just drop the grunge um, little transitions in between all of my images. Now, so when I hit play here, it's going to play the clip and then it's going to do a transition into the other one. Now, if you notice that transition was incredibly fast. Just kind of blipped. So if you click on the transition... Same way that you stretch out an image, you're going to click on the double arrow and stretch it out. And if you notice on the uh, image there, you can see it says 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, letting me know it's two seconds long. So I can stretch my transitions to be 
you know, a little longer on here. Now, whenever you add transitions, just one thing to be aware of is it shortens your clips. Um, so as I stretch my transitions out, if you remember, my video was 10 sec or 40 seconds long. If you notice, my image or my video now is about 32 seconds long because it keeps um, stealing you know, time for my clips. So if I need my clips longer, just click back on the clips and stretch them out again. Okay. So if I hit play again, let me zoom out here and I hit play. You're going to notice it zooms in with a fade. It's going to show this clip. And then here comes my transition into my next image. It plays my image. It's going to transition into my next image. So as you take a look at this, it really kind of gives a nice professional look um, on your images. So there's tons of transitions that you can add. Just simply click and drag. There's one you don't want. So let's say you put this one in here and you're like, I don't really don't like it. Click on it. And then uh, there's your trash can right under your image or simply hit the delete button on your keyboard and it will remove that transition. If you want to add the transition back, just simply click and drag. And you can stretch it out to make that transition. So there's your um, images. Another thing you have is music. Now it's not like the coolest music in the world, um, but you do have the ability to um, select free music and that's great. So you don't have to search really long for it. Um, so like if I want dance party fun, here I come in here, like I told you, it's not the coolest. So when I click on here, like uh, French tango, And I'm sure that's exactly what you were thinking when you um, hear French tango. Um, but there's your music there. So as I'm looking through here, so nightlight, maybe nightlight will sound really good. So let's click on nightlife. So let's say that's pretty cool. Simply click and drag and you're going to drop it into the audio tabs here. So as I click on here, you can see the music. Now, one thing you'll notice on here is if I hit play, the music's still playing, but the video has stopped. So simply drag your playhead to the end of your video. Make sure your audio is selected. And then there's a pair of scissors right here. It's also on your playhead. If you click on that, it splits the clip. Same thing, you can delete it. And then it adds your audio. So if I hit play here, And it just stops now same way if you double click on an image if you double click on your music it takes you into your edit mode and then you can click on fade out so you can tell it to fade out for two seconds I'm gonna hit done and now once again just a simple little fade here hit play and it fades out sounds really really nice and professional so simple tools music uh, just again uh, double click takes you into your fade menu for that. So if I go back to the very beginning here, hit play, this is what you get. So as you can see here, just really nice video that um, is created. So um, just about, I would say about three or four more things and then we're done here. Um, text, very simple, click on text. Um, so if I want subtitles, I can click on subtitles here. And um, now if you remember, I said, um, you always wanna drag it in the main. If I drag this subtitle into the main, it's going to add a title at the beginning, but, and there's an undo button by the way over here on the right hand side. If I drag the title above my clip, um, it's going to overlay it. So it's not going to put it as a title, but it's going to be more as an overlay of the title here. So if I add it, same thing, double click. You can have it zoom in, zoom out if you want. Or if I click on text over here, I can add some text. So um, maybe I'm writing a persuasive sweet speech. 
on um, you know why you should come to San Francisco. So I can put visit San Fran. Let's put visit the San Fran Bay. Okay, so there's that uh, text on there. Um, if you notice, it uh, uh, previews over here. Um, if the font's a little small, you can stretch it a little larger. If you don't like the font, simply click on the fonts and you can change it. So maybe I want this like learning cursive and I want to stretch it a little larger. So there it is. And then I can hit done. And same thing if I come over here and play. So there's my text over my image. And once again, if I double click, um, once again, you have your text property. So if you need to change the font color, you can do that. But if I click on animation, um, I do have the ability to have it zoom in, zoom out, just like an image, or I can even tell it to fade in, fade out right underneath. Click on advanced control panel if you want to see some more features with it. So now if you look at my video, fades in. Fades out. If I wanted to stretch longer, same thing. Just click on the end, stretch it out. So now it's about 10 seconds. Fades out. And there's my image. So um, add, add text on here. There's graphics you can use. They have a fun one like um, background solids overlay. So if I wanted to look kind of old filmish, I can click on uh, old film, click and drop it on there. And there we go. Stretch it out the whole video. And now when I play my video, you're going to notice it kind of looks like it's an old uh, film. you got the kind of the dirty spec um, film overlay on that. So there's my video. Um, all right, last thing um, regarding the video, and then I'll show you a couple things about saving. And that is, if you notice over here on the left-hand side, and there's a little slider over here that allows you to zoom up and down. It says audio 2 and there's a microphone right here if I click on the microphone then it pulls up this microphone here now the couple things about this there's a little button right here it says preview it lets you watch your video while you're recording if you click on the microphone it is going to prompt you to use your microphone so hit allow and it does it twice you're gonna get this little screen here and then it'll pop up in the left hand corner also so I'm gonna hit allow and then hit allow Visit the San Francisco Bay. It's a delight for all families and people of all ages. So I hit the stop button when I'm done and it shows me that I recorded for about nine seconds. If I don't like it, just hit the trash can. Uh, if I did like it, and we're gonna say it's good, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark and then it's gonna save my recording to um, the video. So on here, you're gonna see my audio recording right here. Now, as you notice, it looks like it's incredibly loud, so I can actually turn it down uh, by just clicking on the fader, so I can turn it way down so it's not so loud. So now, when I click on here, hit play. You can see my audio might have been a little too soft on here, but you can see um, that it records my audio and plays it there. The other cool thing is I can drag this around. So maybe I want it to come in right at the beginning. There's my audio. So you can add your own audio once again by just simply clicking on the microphone and then hitting on record. All right. So um, as we wrap up here, just a couple of final things. Uh, the first one is this saves just like a Google Doc. Um, so you do have the ability to save everything just like you would a Google Doc. So um, if I just exit away, um, or click on home. It's gonna, um, and actually it should have saved. Let me hit save here, there it goes. Um, everything saves. So if I click back on my image here, hit continue editing, it's gonna take me right back into my project. And that's not my project, let's go back. All right, you want to talk about an all-time fail. I just lost my project here. Let's uh, go back to WeVideo. Click on Dashboard. There it is. All right, so click on Continue Editing. It's going to take me back into my project as it loads it, and then my project's going to load. So there's my project I've been look, working on right there. 
So just like a Google Doc, it's always saving. Uh, and if you want to be sure about that on the bottom left hand corner, there is a little button that says nothing to save. It'll tell you if it's saving, but it does automatically save. So on my example, just I just moved a little quick before it finished saving. So there's that. Um, and then the final thing is when you are done, done, done. So like done, not making any more changes, ready to turn in. You're going to click on this finish button across the top. It'll ask you to give it a title. So I can say visit San Fran. Then hit set. And then it's going to take you in here. Now, you're not going to see the Vimeo option, but you are going to see 480p and 720. Really for our video, it's not going to really matter um, on quality because it's all going to look about the same. Um, the higher the number, the better. But once again, for our example, you're really not going to tell that big of a difference. Click on 720 and then you're going to hit finish video. What's going to happen is it's actually going to save your video to WeVideo and give you a link when you're done. So you can send that to your teacher, email it to her, turn it in through Google Form, through Google Classroom. Totally up to you, but it will be a link very similar to the top. So now when you hit finish, depending on um, how fast WeVideo is working, it could take about five minutes or it could take about 24 hours. What I'm saying here is if your video is due at the beginning of second period, don't click the finish video button five minutes before class. Probably the best thing you need to do is as you go to bed the night before, just click finish video. Once you hit finish video, you don't have to have your computer open anymore. You can just let it run. So once you're finished, you hit finish video and then it's going to save it. To get to your videos, simply click on videos across the top and then any videos you've saved will show up here. Simply click on your video, double click on your video, and then there's your URL across the top. So you can copy it. You have some other really cool things. If you utilize Google Classroom, you click on the Google Classroom icon and turn it in um, directly from there. You can also click on the share link right here and copy your URL. Um, so very, very simple to get your video back to your teacher. So um, thanks, sorry I wasn't able to join you today, um, but if you have any questions, have your teacher email me or you can email me too. Um, it's Greg Lawrence at WSDR4.org and I'll be glad to get back with you. So if there's any questions, you want to know if it can do this or that, just send me a message and I'll be glad to get back with you. So enjoy your day. Happy video editing.